So I built the same house in two of the best sandbox games on Roblox to see which one is better, and more specifically, which one has less mental tormenting. And obviously I have to make the base of the house first, so I did just that. In Bloxburg, I used the basement, first floor for terraforming, with most of the rocks being basic shapes in the basement and flat roofs on the first floor, as it's quicker and saves some money. In Deep Part Second 2 though, I basically used the primitive pieces to make this thing, and copied them over and copy them over and that's basically the base overall i do think tbt2 is faster on this one but yes i did overcomplicate the building process in blocksburg so for this round it's a tie however moving on to the actual house is where you get to see the pros and cons of each game in tbt2 i struggle with the scale but i managed to get the roof sorted out fairly quickly especially with the transform tool which blocksburg doesn't have okay stop the cap they did have it during the time of recording i was just too stupid to remember that it was added Wait, what? Like this, do the same over here. <laughs> so by using the hollow roof building tricks I've learned, it's possible to make this A-frame. Here are the steps. Place a basic shape in the middle and resize it to your desired height. Use the structural plank and place it down with the seam length on each side. Lastly, place another basic shape, resize it, and voila, you've got your roof. Easy, right? No, actually, because for some reason, I can't always place it down. Alright, first point goes to TPT2. But when it comes to the interior, I mean obviously Bloxburg is better. With hundreds of pre-made items, there's gonna be some that fit your taste, and you can actually just sit back, enjoy that feeling of making your dream house, enjoy that casual playing experience, enjoy the game as it's intended. Unlike TPT2, some of you might say, so what, I can recreate that chair in seconds. But when you have to recreate everything, it's basically meant. So tormenting from a whole kitchen to a small guitar everything and i do me everything have to be custom made it got so annoying in the end that i didn't even recreate this teddy bear and drop this guy that i got from the workshop into one of the rooms which by the way the workshop is free for everyone to use so check it out and now i actually don't have anything else to say besides telling you that blocksburg can get pretty technical sometimes and it's very difficult for newer players to get into the quote unquote pro section but once you get past it building in Bloxburg can actually be a lot more fun compared to playing this game casually you just have to put in the time while you're in tbd2 the mechanics are easier for players to learn but the hard part is how will players create so many custom things such as trees or house designs that actually look good so in a way Bloxburg requires more skill in the upper level while tbd2 requires more skill when just starting out. And now. Uh huh. Redden, this is not a good video. Three minutes is too short. Okay, 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 I will give you, I will give you my time lapse. 